Okay, the next thing we're talking about is privacy. Um, privacy is very important in society, right? It's, the, it's one of the, the hierarchy, right? The right to, to privacy. Um, as they say in the textbook, the U.S. Constitution, after all, while guaranteeing freedom of the press, also guarantees individuals certain rights to privacy. And most journalists would agree that standards of ethical journalism include efforts to protect these rights. So journalists want to tell the truth. They want to find out what's going on, but they have to respect your, your privacy as well. Um, and this is a big issue. Out of all the media, this is the biggest issue with tabloid journalism, with, with journalism that's about celebrities um, and celebrities' personal life. Right? We have some big problems with uh, paparazzi. Right? They're always are going around trying to take photos of celebrities uh, coming to their house late at night or following them when they're walking around outside with their children. Right? It's very difficult for a lot of celebrities to just be normal people because there's always paparazzi there taking photos of them, violating their privacy, maybe. You know, There's a lot of journalists who do really what people might consider unethical things to get stories about celebrities um, or politicians. Um, generally not average people because we're not very interesting for journalists. But, yeah. um, so for example, there's a very famous case in 1997 of Princess Diana. And she was killed in a car crash well, because her, her car was trying to escape from paparazzi. She was in, she was in Paris with her, new, with her new boyfriend and the press was very interested, and so they were chasing the car around, trying to get photos of her. And the driver of her, of her limousine crashed, and, and many people died. Um, there's another example from the UK, um, back 10, 10 or so years ago, um, with Kate Middleton, who's now a princess, right? Um, or duchess. Yeah. Um, her and... Her, her, her family members and the prince and everybody, they were, they were in France. They were having a, a holiday. They, were rent, they rented this house in the countryside. And journalists, you know, the house was down here and journalists went up to a hill and they had a very powerful telephoto lens on the camera and they were able to take naked pictures of her as she was sunbathing outside. And <laughs> I, I tried to... You, you can't find the magazine because it got, it got removed because they violated her privacy, right? They published it in the, in the, in the, the French newspaper. Oh my God, right? Um, and who, who wants to know that? Is that important for people to know what celebrities look like naked? No, that's not really important, right? They just want to make money from it. Right, the editor of the newspaper, she went on TV for weeks and was defending it. So, oh, she's a beautiful young woman, we should know, you know, and it's like that. Um, so they were fined 100,000 euros for, for violating her privacy. Right? Um, because she was in her house. She was in the house, out, she was, you know, on the roof of the house or something like that, uh, sunbathing. Um, so she should have an expectation to privacy in her own house, right? If people are walking around on the street or, or something like that, then they don't really have uh, the expectation of uh, privacy, right? But if it's in their own house, then they do. Um, another example is from an, an online website called Gawker, who is now out of business. And they <laughs> published a sex tape with this famous uh, wrestler actor. Right? Somebody leaked the tape to them and they published the tape online, violating his privacy. Right? He had the personal video and they stole it and published it, and, which is really bad. It's really bad for his reputation. It violates his privacy. He should have control over that. Um, and the website was found guilty and they had to pay, had to pay him $140 million. So the website had to go out of business. They, did, they just did not have that amount of money. Um, 
But it's, it's very complicated. There's a whole situation behind it, but it's not important. Uh, I don't want to get into it. Um, another example is um, the Leveson inquiry in the UK. Um, there was a newspaper called, called News of the World, which is now stopped publishing. Um, and they did some really horrible, unethical things. Um, they hacked into the phones of the royal family, of politicians, of terrorism victims, families of dead soldiers, a missing school girl, all of these things. Because um, remember back in the day, uh, when, you would, when, you would, when you would call somebody and they're not there, you leave a voice message, right? And then when you see, oh, I have a voice message, and you call the number and you put in your password to get the voice message, right? And the password is usually one, two, three, four. So the journalists, they would, they would call the voicemail service and they would put in the password one, two, three, four. And they were able to kind of hack, hack people's voicemail messages, right? So don't have your password be one, two, three, four. At least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's much better. Uh, so they were able to get information about these people based upon their private mess voice messages. Um, and the worst was with a, a schoolgirl, a schoolgirl who went missing. Right? She went missing. Nobody knew where she was. The parents kept trying to call her, and they kept leaving voicemail messages on her phone. And the journalists would hack her voicemail. So the parents thought that she was still alive because somebody was listening to her messages. And the police thought that she was still alive, and it just made the investigation impossible, and then she ended up, she ended up dying. Um, and the thing is, the management knew about this, and they covered it up. They knew that the journalists were violating everybody's privacy in this way, but they covered it up. And there was a whole inquiry with it, and many executive editors, reporters, they resigned, or many of them went to jail because of, of violating all these people's privacy. Right? It took nine months, 300 people, many people gave evidence, right? and the, 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 um, the inquiry found there have been far too many occasions over the last decade when the responsibilities have been ignored. There are too many times when chasing the story, part of the press have acted as if its own code, which it wrote, simply did not exist. So the journalists were violating their own ethical standards, and they were also violating the law. Um, and in the end, the newspaper had to go out of business because their reputation just got really low because of, <laughs> because of all the illegal things that they were doing. So, yeah. um, and there's a little bit of conflict about privacy because media has the right to, to free speech and people have the right to privacy. Right? Um, but at the same time, celebrities are in, are in public on purpose. Politicians are public figures on purpose. If you want to become a celebrity, you have to be in public and, and get attention of people. So you, you, don't, you should not expect that you will have lots of privacy. Your job is to get attention and get the media to talk about you. That's how you become a famous celebrity. 